What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. Actually recording this video and going to post it same day. Got a small mail day. And then, as of course, in a thumbnail or title, whatever you want to call it, we picked up a card in a parking lot. And I'll tell you a little bit more onto that here in a second. But let's go through some of the mail that came in. First up, Collegiate Drew Brees out of 49. I'm macking. Pretty cool card for Drew Brees fans. This has come back into my hands again. <laughs> Rod Carew, Diamond Icons out of 10. Hakeem Olajuwon out of 10 from Limited. Really cool card. And guess what? Game worn. Then you can't forget about Chet. PSA 10 White Select. I believe he's around a 49. Nope, 149. Completely lied. <clears throat> All right, show and tell time. So, had a message today. Asked me you know, if I was buying. Guy was local on Fort Knox. And during my uh, processing today, I... End up saying, hey, while well, this person's not here, I got to run the P.O. box. Can you meet me? And we were looking this stuff up, um, and it's brand new. It's a Prism Monopoly Money Blast. Say that a few times while you've had some drinks, and I haven't had drinks yet. So, Panini Prism Money Blast. LeBron James. If I can get the focus to come on to it here. And of course, I don't want to play right. Might be because of my lighting and stuff. There you guys go. Pretty nice card overall. Probably going to look at getting it graded, see what happens with it. Um, looked at in the park lot. It was kind of cloudy out, so it was kind of hard to tell. Uh, we talked it over. We were looking. There was nothing that was paid for at the time for the new stuff this year. We went off of last year's. Uh, money blast or whatever they called him last year, LeBron James, and we saw those doing a PSA did 280 and a raw did 300 like three months prior to it. It's been a while to sell, so we'll see what happens. Pretty cool pickup though in a parking lot from uh, Hunt Post on Fort Knox, uh, from somebody who just found me, I think, on Facebook if I recall right. So pretty nice when you get to meet people out there like that. Hopefully we can do some more deals in the future. If he pulls some uh, more crazy hits like that, I am all for it. But that is it for Mail Week. I do probably have some stuff coming in. Be prepared. Um, there might be some days where I just come live in the afternoons while I'm going through what you guys will see as my value box stuff that I'm getting set up for the shows coming up. A lot more stuff at the shows will be coming up for everybody. Uh, really nothing going on that I could find that I would drive to. I mean, there is a Nashville show, but it's kind of out of reach this weekend because I got stuff going on. And I think an Evansville show. But we'll start back with Lexington the last Saturday of the month. We'll roll out there. I think we're going to set up and then... Beginning of uh, April, we set the J&J &J All-Star. And we'll just filter through like that, trying to hit some of these shows up. Moving a lot more value stuff in return, trying to pick up stuff that's, uh, you know, I don't want to say better, but that's easier to move, where the value stuff is more for collectors and stuff like that out there that are looking for putting in a lot more time and work than I will on that stuff. But other than that, I appreciate everybody watching as always. I will catch you guys next video.